Hi, I'm Joe Brentano. I'm the coordinator here at the Capitol Visitor Center at the Capitol in Topeka, Kansas. And one of the unique things about our tour program here is our dome tour. It is the 296 step climb to the top. Not a lot of other capitals are able to do this kind of tour. So it makes our capital unique and special. So if you are ready, come along. We're gonna get up on the dome tour. So the 296 steps begin right here at the fifth floor door and this set of steps was put in in 2006 when they were beginning the renovations there and they had to move the old attic stairway to add a new elevator. So these are not quite that old. So we're now in the attic space of the Capitol and behind me is part of the original stairs going all the way to the top. So these tours, we don't take the steps all in one swoop. We stop at all the landings to give you a chance to catch your breath and for me as well here. So we are at what we call our seventh floor landing, which is the last landing beneath the inner dome here. And at this level, you get a nice view of the copper metal work. All of this was polished in our recent renovation because through the years, the gas lighting, and when they used to smoke in the building. Remember, copper oxidizes or reacts with the air. So through the years, it had turned a very dull, flat brown. It really made a difference. They polished this, but also sealed it with a lacquer, and that will reduce the effects of oxidation, and it will keep it shine there. Notice the columns behind me, though. They're kind of a bronze alloy, and they don't polish well. So what they did is just paint the fronts to give it the look that it had been polished. But by doing so, they were able to keep the historic graffiti on the back there. Of course, we don't want anyone to add to that, but years and years ago, people were able to come up on their own and they would leave their uh, sayings, inscriptions, signatures there. So it is historic graffiti. Some of these columns have nurses from World War II. If you were a woman in the Navy in the 1940s, you were known by the acronym, you were a U.S. WAVE, Women Accepted for Volunteer Emergency Services. So some of the graffiti is very interesting in how it tells about some of the periods in history. Also in the center is the chandelier. The chandelier is a reproduction. The original was a gas lit fixture, which by the 40s had become outmoded. They weren't using it. So in World War II, they took it down. It went to a scrap metal drive to help the war effort. It had been a feature missing for more than 70 years, and they wanted to bring this back. So it is based on photos of the original. However, it has all electric fittings. And for maintenance and cleaning, they can lower this all the way down to the center so they don't have to climb up and change light bulbs that way. Also up here, you can see the four semicircular murals there. They're some of the oldest artwork in the Capitol, finished in 1903. They're painted on those curved soffits. And the themes beginning over on the east side are knowledge. She has the book on her lap and she has temperance and religion on each side of her. To the south side represents power. She has the Spanish-American War soldier and the Civil War Union soldier to her left and right. On the west side is peace, and she has science and art on each side of her. And then finally on the north side we have plenty, and she has labor and agriculture on each side of her. So now that we've talked about what you can see here on our seventh floor landing, you might look up and think we're pretty close to the top, but actually the inner glass dome there conceals another 75 feet of space. So we're ready to continue, so follow me.
So now you made it to what we call our eighth floor landing. And at this point, you can see the big volume of space that we have above our inner dome. Uh, the diameter here is 66 and a half feet across, and it is 75 feet of space from the top of the inner dome to the top or the bottom of the cupola floor up there. So quite a volume of space. We are 306 feet all the way to the top. And in fact, we are the second tallest of the traditional domed capitals here in the US. But the glass inner dome is important in the era before things like central air conditioning, uh, heat and the principle of heat rising. The inner dome was important because it helped draw up the warm air and you could vent the warm air out the, the windows up here. So it does serve a purpose too, but symbolically, dome buildings have kind of become the de facto symbol of our important buildings in the U.S., particularly Congress in Washington, and many of the state capitals do have, but not all of them have a traditional dome. So it is the symbol sort of of our government, our democracy. So on top of our Capitol dome is the statue ad astra to represent the American Indian nation, the Kansa or Ka whom the state of Kansas name is taken from and translates the people of the South Wind. It was put up in 2002. So for 99 years, the dome uh, did not have any ornamentation on top. And Dr. Richard Bergen created the statue. He was an artist from Salina. It's a bronze metal alloy. It's two, 22 feet, two inches tall and weighs 4,420 pounds. It faces or points to the North or the North Star. And the name Ad Astra comes from our state motto, Ad Astra per Aspera, to the stars through difficulty. This space really is unchanged. Uh, all the bricks were made right on site here, and that is solid load bearing. But a lot of visitors ask us where the arch begins to form at the window there. It looks like bricks are missing. But actually, there were never bricks there. And to build the arch, they had to put wooden forms in there. And to hold them, they would embed the wooden forms in the, the brick there. So when they removed the forms, they left those spaces unfilled. So it's always been like that. No worries there. No bricks are falling out or, or have missing. So now let's head up to our ninth floor landing. So as we talked about earlier, all the brick here is load bearing. So it's solid all the way through. Now, if you continue looking up, you're gonna see a point where the brick ends and they change to those lighter weight clay or terracotta tiles. And at that point, you're also gonna note that's where the dome begins to curve back in on itself to complete the top of the sphere. So there was a purpose as a lighter weight material. And then you can look up and see the last part of the stairway, which will take us to the top. All right, well, this is our last set of stairs, so let's head on up. Well, congratulations, you have made the stair climb to the top of the cupola, so let's check out the view now.
So now I think you've been 360 degrees around the top of the cupola. Thanks for joining us on this virtual climb to the top there, and we hope to see you soon here at the Capitol in Topeka.